P.A. Rupal Shah, teaching you management accounting. We are discussing about analysis and interpretation of financial statements. In the previous video, I have explained you the balance sheet format. This video will try to explain income statement format which will be suitable for analysis. Let's go ahead and see. If you are dealing into your business, what's the main revenue? Sales. That's the, from where we get money. Paisa milega sales karne se. Paisa use kaha hoga? Either to give wages and salaries to your workers and employees or you will have to spend on advertisements to promote your sales or there will be some finance expenses like bank charges and sometimes you go out of the routine and you may also have to face some loss by fire. This is just gist of how your business runs above. Let's go ahead and explain how the format will look like. Again, we've taken a simple example of a horizontal format of trading account. Let's see how this trading account items will be converted into the vertical income statement. As I told you, we will still first start with the main revenue of the business, sales. Gross sales minus sales return will give you net sales. From this net sales, we will reduce cost of goods sold. How to calculate cost of goods sold? Opening stock plus purchases plus direct expenses minus closing stock. This should give us COGS amount. From the net sales, when I reduce cost of goods sold, what we get is gross profit. You can see here gross profit 12,000, which was the same in the horizontal format of trading account. Let's go ahead and see the profit and loss account now. So we continue with the same vertical income statement. From your gross profit, we will reduce operating expenses. What is operating expenses? Operating expenses are the business expenses which are incurred in the day-to-day -day business. This operating expenses are classified into three types for better analysis. The first classification is office and administration expenses like salaries, director's fees, audit fees, printing and stationery, rent, etc. Second is selling and distribution expenses like advertisement or any sales promotion activities. Third is financed expenses like bank charges or cash discount. Interest is also a finance expense, but we don't take it here. In the format, we show it separately so that we are able to find out the profit before interest and tax. How do we find out that profit? Gross profit minus operating expenses will give me EBIT. What is EBIT? Earnings before interest and tax. This is the operating profit of the business before reducing interest and tax. To this, we will reduce interest. That gives us operating profit after interest. If you see in this example, operating profit after interest will be 3000. Now we will have to make adjustments for non-operating items. What are these non-operating items? Which are not part of your routine business, which are incurred sometimes, not recurring in nature. Add non-operating income like profit on sale of investments or fixed assets, less non-operating expenses like loss by fire, loss on sale of fixed asset, etc. That gives me net profit before tax. To this, we reduce tax to find out net profit after tax. In this example, we see net profit after tax is 7,500. From this, we will reduce appropriations like dividend or transfer to reserves. What we get finally is retained earnings. This retained earnings of 2,500 is same as the net profit seen in your PL account. I hope you have understood the format of income statement. This format will be utilized in further videos where we will learn tools of analysis of comparative common size trend. I hope you like my video. My, if my video was useful to you, please don't forget to like, subscribe and share it to your friends. Thank you.